We should have all. No, no. We should have all. One of the things we should have done was all of us should have like backed up like 40 feet and took them taking photos. And those photos would have been so hilarious because there would have been one kid with like 15 cops around. And then we could have like the people on the internet. You know, they don't know that 15 cops there because like 15 cops here. Like we could do our own media and they, like you know what I'm saying, like back up, take a photo, and then like post that. Like you know, well, they've got girls sitting next to them and she doesn't know any of us. How she gonna like? Maybe she's just doing that, but like I don't know. But we, we need audio. Yeah, we need audio, audio though of the cops. Besides him getting in trouble, that was a fun. Oh, yeah, I, feel he, I know they really well, I gotta say. He just, Even like, though he told the. Well, I'm gonna have to hit mute for this part. Yeah. I was talking about how, like, when they were searching him and messing with him, he didn't get mad. I would have gotten really mad. Um, he seemed, like, very yeah. even. There's something very beautiful about him, and that's why I love him, but don't tell him I said that. Is it muted? It's no longer muted. I hope he's not watching. He's not watching. <laughs> um, he doesn't watch anything I do. He's completely honest. I'm interested in, in all of my work. Oh, that's good. Because um, then you can talk about it. Yeah. I, he doesn't care about my work, but he will. But he loves me, and don't tell him I said that. Okay. Okay. We're very stubborn. Thanks, man. And uh, he was not afraid of being arrested either. Okay, thank you, man. He, he would have been perfectly fine if had they arrested him. That would, he would have? That would be perfectly okay with him. Why? Um, he doesn't care that he gets arrested. Huh. That's fine. He's going to do what he's going to do. And law or no law is not going to affect how he behaves. I respect that. Um, he's a real anarchist. He really is. How old is he? 19. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. At 19, I definitely would not have dealt with that that well. Yeah. I don't think at 33, I deal with it that well. So. Yeah, well, however old I am, I wouldn't handle it that well either. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Bob Cranky wants to know if I'm drinking. Yes, I had a glass of wine. Actually, I'm thinking of having another, but that's perfectly fine. Or did you saw Philip uh, Joffe tonight, didn't you? I'm not sure who that is. He, he's been officially banned. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I, I unfriended him. Yeah, that guy. And he um he sent me a private message asking me to uh, subscribe again so he could get the invitations, and I just ignored it and pretended I didn't see it. Does someone know if you unfriend them? You you can find out easily. Yes. But you'd have to like go and say, oh, am I still on Patty's friend? Yeah, you could go to my page and, and but see you, that you I'm. You don't get a that. message. Or no, you don't get a message. But if you go to my page, you'll find out. Um, but. Um, I mean, if Julie said that he did something, I believe Julie, you know? Yeah, yeah, I do too. And somebody, um, someone else said something too. So. And really the easiest way to to have to take information away from someone is for me to unfriend them. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I just knew who the cops were, that would be great, because I'm sure I have lots of cop friends. <laughs> Yeah, you'll get like no invitations if you don't have Patty on your page. Yeah, that's a lot of burden on me though, it really is. But I have 900 Occupy friends, so... So when Richard bitches, I'm like, Richard, I'll post it on my page, everyone will see it, okay? Probably more people will see it that way. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one! I'm gonna go Look at this photo. Let's have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is, I feel like. But we need to get them, we need to get them like in a 
trying to make for America. Hey, who's the big? Where you from? Oxnard. Uh huh. Yeah. They have an Oxnard. Yeah. That's near Fort Fort Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were actually, uh, Colin and I were up in Port Plenty, like, like, two weeks ago. For why? We went to some, like, little car thing. Like, there's some car event going on up there. Yeah? Port Plenty is so small. I can't believe that an event would... Port Plenty is so small. Uh, right? Yeah. The, um... I don't know why it's a separate city. It's so small. Yeah. The distribution center for the uh, all BMWs. Oh, the boats, the boats come there. Yeah, they come yeah. there and they ship them. Yeah, it's actually uh, one of the most important ports. Oh, yeah. Uh, after Long Beach, it's probably the second most important port. All of the bananas come through Pearl Enemy and all of the cars come through Pearl Enemy. Yeah, cars. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I worked out at the docks in, in Long Beach in LA. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, it's you eat bananas. They were they off. were there. A lot of the cars that I drive off the shoot sometimes like Nissan, Toyota, Mercedes. Uh huh. They're all down in uh, LA. Long Beach port. But then other cars like BMWs and stuff are at port and I need to roll Uh huh. Nice, it's nice, nice. Own little thing. Also there's a there's a navy base there in Port Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we saw that when we were driving through to get to uh, where we were. Yeah, my dad was stationed there. Oh, okay. At the CB base. Oh, right on. Um, that's how I met my mom in Port Wainimi. My parents met in Port Wainimi Beach. Were they farmers or what? No. Oh, just no, my dad was a uh, he was a, a CB in the in the what do you call it, the Navy. Oh, right on. And my mom was in high school and. Uh, You're they, a Navy brat. Well, no, no, no. My dad, uh, my dad quit whenever his time was up. So, oh, okay. um, so it didn't affect you. Right? No. Uh -huh. Right on. Other than his being a Republican, but I still love him. <laughs> yeah. We discuss politics. Everyone has their fault. But me and my dad would discuss politics. Like that's like how we got along like the best. Like yeah. we enjoyed very much discussing politics. Yeah. And he always respected like if I made a good argument, even though I didn't agree with him, he always respected if I could if I could argue well. Yeah. So um, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has their own views. But if you have your own if you can see someone else's side to what they're trying to Uncle, Uncle Crunky's uh, Uncle Crunky's talking about the name Oxnard, and uh, yeah, I looked it up in the dictionary when I was eight years old in third grade. We looked up Oxnard, yeah. and it said the extension of an ox. Really? I don't know. I just mean like testicles or something. What does that mean? Like a nard is like a test a testicle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the extension of an ox was. So the, it's it's an ox's balls. Ox balls, yeah. I was named after uh, the the Oxnard brothers. Uh, named the city was named after them. They're sugar beet farmers. Yeah. The the uh, city was founded on sugar beet farming. Uh, but the Oxnard brothers wanted nothing to do with this today, so... Interesting. So there you go. That's your history of Oxnard. a little bit of history right there. Oxballs. Oxballs, Ox yeah. Though. I want more wine. I shouldn't have more wine. I'm good. No more wine? Maybe another burger? No, I'm good. I'm not too. Uh, okay. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Where is she alive in the, what's the name of the bar? We're all keep playing the bar tonight. What's the name of the bar? I forgot, King Eddie's. This is King Eddie's Bar in uh, downtown Los Angeles, California. King Eddie's Bar is the last standing bar in Skid Row. Uh, it's about to be sold and gentrified. They're going to totally gentrify and upgrade this bar. And they're going to sell the uh, beer at a lot higher prices. What happens after a long day, a uh, well-deserved beer? So.
we are proof that God loves us and he wants, to be, he wants us to be happy. So they talk about that place where everybody knows your name. Nobody gives a fuck what your name is in here. <laughs> That's what they said. And the hamburger was microwaved. <laughs> but it was only four dollars. So only four dollars. Alright, I think we're smoking outside. Let me go look. <laughs> So we're going to move to the smoking section of the King Eddie's bar. Like this, slide it off. Let me see. <laughs> so here we are in the smoking section of the King Eddie's bar. Live on the intersection of Fifth and... We're here at live at Fifth and... Uh, I don't know, we're somewhere on fucking Fifth Street. Fifth and Los Angeles Street in the heart of Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles, California. Uh, like I was saying before, uh, King Eddie's Bar is the last uh, bar standing in Skid Row. It's uh, about to be sold, upgraded, and gentrified. And the beers will be much less affordable. But I don't know, like, if... Claire actually gentrified the bar by coming here. That's what we're doing. Right? Really? I dressed up. So. Yeah? <laughs> you were looking so hot tonight, Colin. Wow. I should not be on camera. I know, <laughs> There's nothing funny about gentrification. Uh, Alright, now I'm looking at... <laughs> no, I'm looking at the two of you together. No, not brothers, no. We're not related. Really no. Yeah, do we look like brothers? I saw him and he looked familiar. Your nose is The nose is, yeah. yeah. But really I'm hot, not seriously. Really yeah. anything else. You're not that much taller, Colin, so stop rubbing it in. Oh, dude. You're just saying that because you're short. Uh, I'm looking six foot. Yeah. yeah like six foot and I'm on like an angle. So. Yeah. Are you only six foot? I got big, and I got big shoes on. And I got my heels on. You're almost six foot. Uh, no, no, no. You don't seem taller than my... My son is five You're like nipple level. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Activism! Nipples! Woo! Alright. If you want to take your shirt off, I will not object. <laughs> oh! Claire's flashing over here! Well, the video's getting Dude, that's how we bring people to the movement with nudity. Movies! Yes. And ten sex. Movies. And sleeping bag sex. State University in Cal State, Los Angeles. So what, say that again. I went to San Diego State University. Are you Matador, Aztec, or Titan? I went to Cal State University. I don't... You say Cal State what? Uh, Cal State LA. And, Cal, and what's your mascot? I don't care. Hops, cause then. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Why should I care about mascot? I'm not... What is it? Cal State LA? Yeah. Well, I'm just a pancake. You got a pancake? I am pancake. Yes or no? All right. What's, got on? what's that? Huh? Huh? How are you, young lady? I'm lovely, thank you. One on one to five hundred. How old are you right now? How old am I now? Yes, if I'm, I'm not intrusive. I'm forty-three. Well, I'm older than you. Where's my high five, girl? All right. Well, let me get it. I. Where did you do journalism major? I did not major in journalism. What did you major in? I majored in psychology and fine arts. Okay, Ian, ego, superhero. And uh, film theory. And uh, what are your thoughts? Studio. Art. I'm psychology pancake. Studio art. Say pancake. Pancake. Yeah, you did quite well, sir. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> You're a great woman. Right, carry on. I'm a grandfather too, no problem. All right. What, what do you got that camera on? What I got it on? You got your press pass. Where's your press pass? Do you know what? I'm just uh, this is just YouTube. Just, just say pancake. Right now this is YouTube. Just, YouTube. You stream, yeah. You stream. YouTube. I'm YouTube pancake. All right. What's your take on King X? 
I, it's a lovely bar. I'm enjoying it's a, my time. It's a lovely bar. I'm enjoying, it, I'm enjoying my time here. Well, you should enjoy yourself. Yeah. Enjoy you enjoy yourself before you enjoy your time. I should now. I'm from the old school. Ben, don't say, but look at There's Mr. Maggie now. I've been to the Crystal Cathedral now. Really? You know, 22 Grand Royal Pancake. I know. Grand Royal Pancake. 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 It sounds what? Uh, you call it? Oh, that's a gentrified word. You call it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have like two bachelor's degrees and I've never heard that word before. My master's is in That's why. I got a master's in life. I got a master's in life. Okay. Advanced hoboism studies. I have a <laughs> check this out. I have a home, but I've been sleeping on the streets. Wait, so what would that? What would you be categorized as? Are you like want to be homeless? No, I'd be like, like I'd be like a crazy journalist who's addicted to filming the cops. Oh, okay. CCA. Okay. But I haven't in the past like three weeks. I haven't. I stayed there two nights ago. And uh, Peace Walker Mike, or the person formerly known as Peace Walker Mike, who is now asshole yeller, kept me up the entire night because he was screaming at everyone. He was screaming very inappropriate things. I don't know, but he was screaming at the the, the film crew was there working. He was screaming very rude and inappropriate things to them. He woke me up several times. And then at 4 a.m., LAPD came and woke us up and told us to move. The thing is, I had asked, I knew there was a film crew there, right? So I asked all of the security, I asked all of the purple shirts, I asked a couple different police officers, is there a problem with us staying here tonight? No one answered the question. And then at 4 a.m., LAPD car rolled by. And, yeah, but, but the thing is, they had a permit. Okay, so they had a permit, so that's why I asked the question. Is it okay? Is there a problem with the sleeping care? No one answered it. And then at 4 a.m., responsibility then for what happened if they didn't answer the question. But then at 4 a.m., the, the LAPD car code rolled by and woke us up and told us to move. Nobody moved. I could not go back to sleep at that point, especially not knowing if I could be arrested yeah. after being told to move Which and not moving. probably what people on the streets here feel is that they're woken up, they're moved, they're told they're not the sweeter, and of course they don't get regular sleep. <laughs> yeah, and then there, there's criticism from people in Occupy LA that CCA is not um, political enough. But how are you political when you can't fucking sleep? When your 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 primary needs are not being made, you are not eating, you are not sleeping, you are not drinking enough water. So I'm hearing this criticism. Oh, CCA is not political. Well, actually, it is political. Just the fact of your body being there on that ground is political. And maybe you're not passing out flyers. Maybe you're not putting up a sign. Maybe you're not doing outreach. But your body on that sidewalk is political. And, and I've heard talk of LA abandoning CCA, and basically that's abandoning the most, quote, unworthy people. Uh, well, couldn't we decide we, we want to discontinue the action, but not abandon the occupiers? I mean... But that they've already been abandoned. There's already no support. Like there's already no support. There used to be. There used to be food. There's no food. There used to be water. There's no water. There used to be blankets. There's no blankets. There's actually no support. So it's already actually happened. But like to officially do that would be fucked up and bullshit. And I, I and several other people would have. You know Annabella? Yeah. So I, when we were walking over here, she like stopped me to get my phone number because she said the same thing that people are trying to shut down CCA. She goes down there. She yeah. does not sleep there, but she goes down there. Yeah. yeah. And I said, well, I don't really. I mean, I've been there only like twice. I've never slept there. I just went. 
so I don't really know. The thing is, right now, during the... Uh, I'm going to mute for this because people will find this controversial, so I'm going to mute for this part. Tell that guy he wants to hear it. 
So you should um, tell him to come down to the bar. Yeah. And you yeah. should message him what you talked about or something. Uh, okay. Also, I want to know who that person is. Bob. Bob's your uncle. uncle. I want to know who that person is. I call him Uncle Crunky. I don't know who it is. Nice night, night PM, my niece. Oh, because he's PM? I call him Uncle. That's me. I'm PM, and I call him PM. PM beers. What's the M? That's for my middle name. What's your middle name? I can't say that on our stream. Oh, we're gonna go with that. No, we should show you. We should show you. Hey now, hi Chuck. Hi, how's it going? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now. Um, so we can talk shit uh, without the world knowing. Uh, we're, we're not talking shit. We're just talking frankly. It's, it's, re it's reality. Yeah, it's frank, just, it's frank, just happening. You know, it's real. It's what's really happening. But yeah, it's, 14 years. it's not polite um, to do a public thing, right? It's not Occupy Correct. Yeah. yeah. We're not being Occupy Correct, so we got to sign up. And also, I'm part of a game. Okay. All right, signing off, guys. Good night. Good night. Thanks for watching.